welcome 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 good evening good evening chat how are you doing guys hey cool cat boob gaming nintendo nation banana joe of course you are here how are you doing how are you doing hey super crustacean everyone is here even super mario g how are you guys doing how are you doing we are back and i'm back and i'm <laughs> i'm actually live streaming danganronpa i had so many i had so many friends requesting me to play this game saying this game is amazing and i never played it and actually downloaded it like one year ago and then uh, here i am and the game is here and i have to just press the a button and play the game yeah let's see what this game is all about shall we i will try to read the live chat as uh, as less as possible and you moderators you can like delete spoilers as soon as you see them because you know this game already so you know what a spoiler is unlike me and yeah let's go with the mario voice because why not Let's see what Duncan Rompa is. Actually, I'm not totally blind like the thumbnail says. I played like five minutes of this game one year ago. That's all I know. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see how things will develop. And okay, let me put on my headphones so I can immerse myself in this game's soundtrack. Oh my god, the title screen is rocking. Title screen is rocking real hard. Oh my god, take a listen to this. Ooh. Yeah, let me know guys if the volume is alright, if I leave it as it is right now. Okay, press A button. Or should I press the A button instead? I should press A button. Ooh. Actually, that's a gun here in the background. And there was the sound of a gun. Okay, you know what? Let's go to language. Oh, okay, you can also play it in Japanese, nice, but I'm not gonna stream it in Japanese. Hey, Plush Pia, welcome to the live stream. Nice to have you here. Hey, Cocobird, Ultra H64. Oh my god, there's, there's plenty of you. <laughs> Maybe sound a bit louder. Okay, let's do it a, a bit, a tiny bit louder. How about now? How is it now? Is it good? Is it fine? Is it all right? Oh, oh. okay, language, shall we go with English or Nihongo? Voice English or Nihongo no? Mm. Well, if I send it to Japanese, I think uh, then I have to read everything myself. You know what? Let's go the English English route. I'm streaming this game. I'm not playing it for myself. So let's go the English. Let's go English English. Yeah. So you guys can understand everything. All right. Let's go to options before we begin. <clears throat> oh the volume. Oh, oh, this is this is handy Like if we like then realize afterwards that something is a little too loud We can change it like hey the voices are so loud. Hey, the music is too loud or stuff like that Radical speed change the radical movement speed during the investigation Movement Bob. What is a movement Bob? Is it Bob gaming moving around? But what, what even is a move movement Bob? You should increase the sound to 100. Trust me. Really? You mean, uh, what sound? Voice volume? Sound effects? I don't know. Movement Bob. Reset settings? No. Okay, I think I think we're fine. You know what? Let's just play the game and we'll see how it goes. And we get, I think we can change things mid-game, I hope. Okay. There we go. Logic difficulty. Logic difficulty. It's not difficulty. It's logic difficulty. Okay, that's an interesting kind of difficulty I've never heard about. I heard about like, will it make like puzzles easier? Gentle, kind, mean. I think we, we gotta go for the kind route, right? I mean, uh, yeah, let's go for the kind route. Camera moves up and down when walking. Oh my God, Plush Pia, you know everything about. Every game, you know everything about every game. <laughs> You're so wise. Ooh, ominous, ominous. Oh, he's been tied up very tightly. He's being launched. Yes, I remember this intro. I remember this intro. Oh, back in the in the, uh, in the background. Uh, yeah, exactly on the left. There's written Abunai, dangerous. 
What is that bear up to? Yeah, I completely forgot about this intro, but now, now I'm remembering it, yeah. Oh. It went all the way up there. And now it's going back down. Huh? And, and he disappeared? Oh, he died! He died. And he laughed, so it was his intention to kill him. It's not like an experiment gone wrong. He got murdered. In a very creative way, that is. I see. The title of this game is so wacky, like... The title of this game being, uh, sorry... Being a Dunker Romba Trigger Happy Avoc Anniversary Edition is like the, the title doesn't say like anything. Like someone like seeing this game on the eShop has like zero idea what this game will ever be. <laughs> okay. Question mark, question mark, question mark. The massive high school towers over all the other buildings in this hustling urban area. Okay. So like the school is like the most important thing. It's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. Oh, well, if this isn't a Japan al allegory, all right. Uh, uh, <laughs> Hope's Peak Academy. Hope's Peak Academy. Hope's Peak Academy. At the peak of the hope. Hmm. It brings in top students from every field imaginable. A government-funded school for privilege of privilege. They say that if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. Oh my god, this is like the dream of every Japanese mother having a child that like graduates and then is set for the, for the rest of, the, of its life, basically. This is so freaking Japanese. Why do I already kind of smell a critique there? With hundreds of years of, of tradition, it sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. Hundreds of years of tradition. Hundreds of years of tradition. Hundreds. Okay, hundreds. It's kind of a lot. It was built to raise hope in the nation's future. Oh my god, this is so freaking Japanese. Which makes Hope's Peak a pretty fi fitting name. A pretty fi fitting name, okay. There are two things you need to attend the school. One, you have to already be attending high school. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. No ordinary students could enroll here. The only way in is your is if you're scouted by the school itself. Okay, so just the best for the best. But why should should you ever give the best of the best an opportunity to reignite in a in a school? Like, will that really like like will that really like be better for the country? How could that ever be beneficial? And standing there at the gate of the ultimate school filled with the ultimate students was me, was me. Before we go any farther, I guess I should introduce myself. My name's Makoto Naegi. Yeah, you're right. Like the voice is like a little low compared to the music that's like super super high. Makoto Naegi. As you can see, I'm nothing but a hopelessly average high school student. Hopelessly average, like every anime main protagonist ever created. <laughs> average on the outside, average on the inside. Let, let me tell you, you're not average on the outside, like, at all. Like, it, come on. Being blonde in Japan? That's not average. I really don't have much going for me when it comes to grades, special abilities, even personality. Okay, you're 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 a blank paper, you're telling me. That's why you're blonde. Because you're blank. And I gotta fill in your personality or something. I mean yeah, I have hobbies and stuff like I like to do. But it's not like I'm I'm a psychic or mutant or whatever. 
Like, if you ask me what my favorite song was, or my favorite movie or TV show, they'd all just be whatever's most popular at that particular moment. Even among the average, I'm completely average, so I can't even say I'm your average hero type. Well, actually, an average people wouldn't describe himself as being so average. I think you're kind of uh, smart and uh, actually have a little bit of self-knowledge there. That's just who I am. Anyway, I figure it's always good to introduce yourself right off the bat. But you know, if I have any kinds of strong points, so to speak, I'd say I'm a little more gung-ho than other people. <laughs> Okay, I mean look at me. I completely ordinary, but still Here I am standing in front of the anything but ordinary hope speak Academy. I Still can't believe I'm standing here. I wonder if someone like me can survive in the place like this I've got I it's no it's got this overwhelming presence like it's trying to swallow me whole It's kind of ominous. Yeah, that's not like your your usual school. But it's no wonder I will feel that way. What you have to understand is... Well, let me just tell you about the preparation I did last night to get ready for today. Preparation. Oh my god, what's that? Okay, Hope Speak Academy 15. From Anonymous. Come on, keep it coming. What? Apparently my friend kind of knows them. I guess everything their state of the art Then another anonymous number three three name one name two name three name anonymous on the same day This year's ultimate pop sensation is gonna be going there. Oh So I believe Those are like yeah, the ultimate baseball pro is gonna be there too. I believe those are like the students that are not, like not allowed to reveal their names or something. Hope speak is only invites those who students who are the truly elite in their field. It's such a popular topic there. There no, there are threads online dedicated to talking about the school attendees. So to prepare, I looked up some of these school threads, and all I saw was talking about the ultimate students. Who were way beyond your average high schooler. Okay. Oh. For example, one incoming student is the ultimate pop sensation. Okay, yeah, so they are all like the best in their own field. So even pop? Like, do they, do they like teach pop at school or whatever? Pop sensation. So they have to be the very best, not just at school, but even like in their hobbies or what they do like for themselves, like in general, not just, uh, not just school and stuff. I guess she's a high school girl who is also the lead singer for a pop group famous all over the country. Uh, all over. Okay, so, so, so she's like already the best in her field. There's also the ultimate baseball baseball star. Yeah, you have to know that like in Japan, Rakyu, which is uh, baseball, is like super popular. Like almost as popular as in the United States, basically. Like Japan is like super in with uh, baseball, so it makes sense that a famous baseball player is like a Japanese stereotype. He was the cleanup hitter for the national high school champs. Pro teams already have their eyes on him. Haha, <laughs> the best baseball player. That is just interesting. Makoto Naegi. Then there's the ultimate fashionista. Uh huh. Go Yaku and Spring. Check out all the latest dresses and fashion. Red ribbon? Red ribbon? How to show 20 more? Come and hi, highly? What? What's written there? Man, she's like on so many different magazines. Like, she doesn't like work for, for one magazine. She's like on the cover of so many different kinds of magazines. She's gonna be like crazy popular. Yeah, plenty of them. Tenpei Junko Enoshima spread. She's been on the cover of tons of fashion magazines. 
She's what every high school girl wants to be. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh, and they mentioned the ultimate biker gang leader too. What? The ultimate biker gang leader? <laughs> the biker gang leader. Okay, so yeah. It doesn't sound like something you would put in a in an elite school, a biker gang leader, but I guess the only important thing is to be a leader in something. The scary thing is, he's the de facto leader of every bike gang in Japan. Oh my god. Gangs everywhere love the guy. Okay, that's kind of weird that like all these people are like super famous and they still have like time for school. <laughs> Well, so jealousy is only for the winners. How can everyone even get in? Anyone can. Okay, Magoto Naeg. Okay. On top of that, there's the ultimate martial artist, the ultimate fanfic creator, the ultimate fan fiction creator. Yeah, it's also one of those things that everyone in Japan like tries to be. The ultimate gambler, the ultimate swimming pro, the ultimate programmer, the ultimate clairvoyant, and then some reading that made me realize how totally powerless I was. It was the country's finest top to bottom. Yeah, that's basically how every Japanese kid feel. Or just like you, Magoto Naeki. You, you feel like every other Japanese kid in the world, and in Japan that is. Maybe even the world. I feel like a tame little house cat who'd wandered into a pride of lions. But still, there was something I couldn't stop thinking about. You see, there were a few students who I couldn't find any info, no matter how much I looked. With all those ultimate students, I'm the only one without any kind of worthwhile talent. But then, what about those other new students who didn't seem to pop up anywhere? Couldn't they be just average students like me, without any talent or anything? That thought was kind of encouraging, I mean, I know I don't have much in the way of personality. So from what I understand, like everything that is written like in blue is happening in my mind. But beyond that, there's an even bigger issue. How did such unbelievably average student like me get picked to come to this ultimate high school? I mean, I guess there is a reason. You just have to take one glance at the acceptance letter they sent me to see why. Huh? Oh, there it is. Hope's Peak Orientation Guide. Makoto, Mr. Makoto Naegi. It's written in English. We recently held a lottery to select one ordinary student to attend our school. As a result, you have been selected. And we invite you to join us as the ultimate lucky student. Included an orientation guide. Okay, so they also like invite one guy for being extremely lucky. And then he's like the best in his field because he's the lucky guy, I guess. It's kind of sus. It's it's the kind of thing you could also like fake. And there could be like there could be like a different reason behind inviting Makoto. I don't know. It's kind of this is like super sus. We recently held a lottery to select the ultimate lucky students. Yes, they spelled it out as a day. I got invited by pure luck. Honestly, I probably would have been better off just declining their offer. But after hearing how graduating was a guarantee for success, later in life I just couldn't say no. Ah, success. Success. But then actually, standing there in front of the, of the school, I started to feel lost, like I didn't belong there. I could feel myself losing my nerve. But still, I can't just stand here in front of the gate forever. Frozen in place, murmuring to myself, I looked down at the acceptance letter clutched in my hand. It said there would be a meeting for all incoming students in the main hall at 8am. The meeting still isn't for a little while, but I should probably just head in. Yeah, yeah, let's do this. I gathered up all my determination and tried to act like I'm done this a million times before, and I took my first step towards the main hall. Okay, I can already like really empathize, empathize with him. Okay, this is where, this is who, no, this is where supposed to meet, right? I guess I'm the first one here. There's a really elegant clock over the corner. It says 7:10 a.m. Okay, 
The meeting doesn't stand start until 8 o'clock, so there's still a full 15 minutes left. It makes sense nobody else will be here yet. I was so wound up, I got here way too early. I have plenty of time before the meeting, just standing around waiting in ecstasy. I shall take a look around the school, maybe that'll help me calm down a little. I am a student here now, so there shouldn't be any problem with me having a look around, right? It'll help me kill some time, if nothing else. Trying to play it cool, I took my first step into the Hope's Peak Academy. It was also my first step towards starting a new life at a new school. At least, that's what I was, that's what I was hoping for. What I was hoping for? So, well, basically he's like talking like in the past, so everything we are witnessing already happened at the time he's telling the story. Okay, that's kind of interesting. I just realized that. What the... Is that Gygas from Earthbound? But the instant I took that first step forward, my view became warped, twisted. It was like some kind of delusion, melting away and mixing together into something else. Spinning, mixing, melting away, then spinning again. And the next moment, everything went black. Sounds like drugs to me. That was how it all began. Maybe he got like sedated? That's why he got like confused, maybe someone like sedated him or... It looks like he got sedated. Unless it was like, oh, I skipped a, a dialogue? Oh my god, how did I skip that? Oh my god. And at the point I should have realized... The reason I was brought to Hope's Peak Academy wasn't because I had the ultimate good luck. It was so I could experience ultimate despair. Ultimate despair. So I could experience ultimate despair. So there was like a reason for him to exp like. Why would you ever make someone experience ultimate exp this despair? That's super interesting. The ultimate despair. Despair high school. Welcome to despair. Despair like that like. Las Vegas kind of sign, okay, that's that's pretty stylish. Yeah, let's save the game. Despair. Okay. Uh yeah, let's go for the empty empty slot, yep. There we go. Now it's completely different. Even the style changed. I'm not saying anything. Hmm? Man, these artworks, they look so good. What? Where am I? Why have I heard that word again? I woke up with my head resting on top of a hard wooden desk. My body feels heavy. Yeah, he got sedated. He might have got... He, he Maybe he was sedated. It's pretty normal for me to zonk off in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but... What was I doing asleep here just now? This isn't a classroom I've been in before. What the heck is going on? So basically everything that is written in blue is not my inner self. It's like myself from the future narrating what was going on in the past. While everything that is written in white is basically me in the present of the game. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, welcome to Hope's Peak Academy. Firstly, we'd like to explain the basic controls. You can use the left stick to adjust your aim. If you aim at an object, you can interact with... with okay, okay. You can press the A button, okay. Then, and presto, you'll investigate that object. Use the right stick to adjust your viewpoint. Why don't you try looking around the classroom? Oh, okay, okay, I see, I see, I see. Oh, okay, okay. Up, down, left, right. Okay, let's take a look around. So this classroom 
the first thing that stands out is like it is so colored like so saturated yep there's like a japanese sign with the name of the city yeah it's gotta be the name of the city where this university or whatever it is is located hmm yeah everything is like so colorful there are some lights on the on the on the ceiling okay what are those weird like i can investigate them yeah i can what the heck in any normal classroom that's where a window should be but it looks like some kind of metal plate has been bolted over it and if I were to knock on it, bang bang, yep, definitely metal, thick too, very solid. Wait, that's not what I what matters here. More importantly, why are there metal plates over the windows? So yeah, definitely I feel trapped in here, absolutely trapped. No connection whatsoever with the with the outside world. Oh, I can actually check it out. Oh, I can check out oh, the camera. Oh, even like, oh, the camera, yes. Is that a surveillance camera? It is a dangerous world we live in, I guess. They have these to keep weirdos from just wandering in. Yeah, why would you ever put a surveillance camera inside a classroom? Like, why should you ever su surveil your students? Might have a different purpose than surveillance. Might, might be surveillance, but for some pretty unexpected reasons. Huh. Let's see what's up there. Jeez, I can't believe it's already 8 o'clock. It was just after 7, 7 when I first got here. Has it really been almost an hour since then? Haha, uh -huh. so yeah, he might have been sedated actually. My, th my theory is still standing, until it will not stand anymore. What's that? There's a TV. The school is founded by the national government, so I guess it's not that weird to have a TV in, in here. Something feels off, I wonder what it is. Yeah, it's more like a monitor. It's kind of, it's a kind of a weird classroom, I gotta say. Like, even the chairs, like, are kind of old school for a Japanese school. Okay, let's see what this one is. This this is clearly a highlight. That's the desk I fell asleep on. I can still see a line of drool. Ugh, I must have been left there. <laughs> okay. I have to clean up that later. Hey, what's that on the desk? Oh my god, what's that? Hey there, new kid. The next semester about to start. Starting today, this school will be your entire world. Okay, that's kind of creepy, but also like cute at the same time. Seems like something like a good friend could write you. Like something saw me lying here in the desk. So someone was like, oh my god, he arrived. Yeah, he's sleeping just like everyone else that arrives. Let's write him something sweet. So when he wakes up, he will get, he will be greeted by us or by me or by whatever. An orientation guide? It's some kind of cheap looking f pamphlet and there's something handwritten on it. The text semester, the next semester is about to start. Starting today, this school will be your entire world. What the hell? Is this someone's idea of a joke? So yeah, your, your entire world. World. That's, a, that's an interesting word to use. It's not like your your entire life, you're trapped here forever. It, your entire world. It's more spatial than life. It implies different kinds of locations. More stuff to do than just classroom. At least to me, at least to me. What the hell? This is someone's idea of a joke? Okay, let's see. So what might have happened is I got myself so wound up. I passed out in the main hall and then someone carried me here. If that's true, it must mean this is a classroom inside Hope's Peak. Oh, you just realized. 
But then if that's true, yeah, actually, who tells me I am inside that building I just saw earlier? I could actually be anywhere. Like, they could have, like, closed up the window so that I cannot look outside so that I cannot know where I am. Yeah, actually, I could not be inside that academy I just walked in. Huh. But then if that's true, that's just raising more question. This is all really strange. Yeah, it, it absolutely is. I mean, those metal plates covering the windows, it's like it's a prison or something. Yeah, exactly. That was exactly what I was, think was what, what I was thinking. And now you are basically giving me the hint into that direction. So I'm starting to believe we are not inside the academy we just walked in. None of this makes sense. None of this makes any sense. I should probably head back to the main hall. It's already past the meeting time. There, there might be other students there now. You can leave the classroom by pressing the B button. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, game. Wait, what's that? Oh, no, okay, it's the TV again, okay. Blah, 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 blah. Can I check the door first? Leave the area? No. Anything else? Can I check the ceiling? Okay, it's a... Uh, what the heck? Okay, still the same thing. Yep, same thing. Okay, well then let's... Uh, I can press on help. I can press on... Uh, controls. Okay, close. I can press on... Plus? No, there are no options. Minus? No, I don't think any other buttons do anything. Let, let's leave the room. Let's leave the area. Oh, I'm in the hallway. Jeez, this hallway is kind of weird too. It's getting stranger by the second. I honestly have no idea what's going on. Well, for now, I'll just head to the main hall. Use the left stick to move through the hallway. Hold down the B button while moving to run. Why would you ever run in this game? Also, you can press the X button to bring up a map. Press the X button again to close the map. How convenient! Okay, yes, yeah, so this one is definitely not a normal school. Like, look at this flooring. It is purple. And black. I actually believe it is black and white. But, yeah, it is black and white, but the light here is purple. This is so eerie. This, this is too abstract to be a normal university. This is like a university you could dream in a nightmare. This is what, like, your mind will create. Oh, yeah, look at all, all, all those different colors. Like, I assume they might have, like, a gameplay feature to make it easier to understand where, where things are. With like color areas but at the same time it's like what's there the spare hotel i guess it's a place for people who stay overnight but anyway i need to get to the main hall the spare hotel the spare hotel the, the texture here looks like <laughs> super pixelated the spare hotel 1b I was inside the 1A. What if I go inside the 1B? Room 1B. The doors locked tight. Okay. Can I go there? No, I cannot go there. Oh well, let's... Uh, let's go... What, what's this door? I wonder where this red door leads. I'm starting to feel sick standing here. Yeah, this door is like completely different than, than any other doors. I have like a big fetish for closed doors. Like growing up playing Super Mario 64, I'm used to mysterious doors being closed. Oh yeah, the green screen is messing things up. Yeah, I believe so. This area is like super green. Oh no. Oh no, the green screen is killing it again. AV room. AV? AV room? The AV room isn't locked. What? Oh no, yeah, no, no. the AV room, it, it's locked. Okay, it's locked. It's locked. The AV room. A slash V. A slash V room. 
Hey, slash ring, what's this? Keep out, keep out, keep out! Danger, keep out. But what's the sign underneath danger? Is it like... S -ri sore Store. Store? Maybe it's a store? Like a shop or something? The Mar 64 door. Oh my god, you say that too. Yeah, exactly! <laughs> I read your mind. The school store! Yeah, bring it was a store! Yeah! I guess it's not open. Yeah, 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 it doesn't look like it's open. It's kind of obviously shut, shut up. Oh, 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 what is that? Why are there some plates here on the ground that like emphasize the middle of this room? I have no freaking idea. This place is so abstract. Oh, this is an exit. This is pretty obviously an exit, but I don't want to get out. I want to see more nurse. Oh, okay. With some hearts. So they gotta take care of people in the Despair Academy? Nurse. Keep out, keep out, keep out! Okay, I, I believe those signs are just a gameplay gimmick. I think. Okay. Woman, girl. Makes sense, makes sense. Can I go to the toilet? The boy's bathroom. Good thing I don't have to go. Yep. That's a good thing. The girl's bathroom. Not that it, not that it matters, but it's locked. <laughs> not that it matters. What do we have here? School zone. First floor. What is a school zone? There are so many weird things I want to know. Oh, a staircase leading upwards. Oh, and knock, locked out windows. Yeah, everything is like close up. I wonder why there's a gate here. Yeah. I have this feeling we will like unlock area after area. The gym. The gym. The handle didn't move in at all. Okay. Okay, well. I think my only way out is now the exit. The exit? Like this place is all about trapping me inside, not letting me go anywhere. And the exit is just so casually open. That's super sus. Well, uh, let's take the exit, shall we? Let's see what the exit is all about. By the time I got back to the main hall, everyone else was already there. Oh! Whoa, hey! Another new kid? Yes. I'm new. I think I'm new. I mean, uh, hello guys. <laughs> Then you guys are all... Yeah, we're all new here. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. Okay, so no, I'm not, not the only one. So, counting him, that makes 15. Seems like a good cutoff point, but I wonder if this is everyone. Okay, okay, so it's the first day, f day for all of us. That's kind of weird. I, I like expected this university, this 100 year old university to already have some well established students. Maybe there are other students than just us, but we just arrived. Hmm. Standing before me were the ultimate students that had been handpicked by the school. I looked around at everyone who'd gathered there, taking in their faces one at a time. Maybe I was just imagining it, but I swear I could feel a kind of aura coming from each of them. An aura? Hmm. How's it going? My name's Mo Makoto Naegi. Sorry I'm late. A bunch of stuff happened and then all of a sudden I was just asleep. Whoa, you too? Things just keep getting curiouser and curiouser. So strange, I declare beyond a shadow of a doubt that this is a strange situation indeed. Hmm, what are you talking about? I, I honestly have no idea what's going on right now. Just a moment, there's something else we must address. Makoto, your tr tardiness is unacceptable. 
Surely you were aware of the meeting was to start at 8am sharp. To be late in your first day is unspeakable. Who is this guy? I must report you and you must accept your your due punishment. What? what? What's your problem? It's not like he wanted to be late. He didn't have any control over it. Everyone, just calm down. Listen, why don't we all go around and introduce ourselves? Huh? The hell? Now's no, now's no time for freaking introduction. <laughs> Maybe, but it may be good. At least, oh my god, her hair, are fa <laughs> fantastic. But it may be good. At least find out who we all are before digging into the biggest problems here. I mean, how are we even supposed to talk to each other if we do not know each other's name? Yup, I guess it's time for presentations. Yeah. That's a good point. Who is this little girl? Um. Okay, so let's get introductions out of the way, then we can move on to whatever sells. Sounds good? I'm still totally lost, but I think it's best to just focus on getting to know each other for now. So I guess it's a good chance as, uh, as I'm gonna get, okay, yeah, as good as, as, as it can get. I already looked, looked everyone up on that Hope Speak Academy thread online, but I still don't really know what kind of people they actually are. Time to find out. I'll start by talking to those five over there. Aim at the student and press the A button to talk to them. Oh, okay, okay. Each conversation important to the overall story. So keep track of how they go. Oh, okay. So now I can choose with which one I can <clears throat> chat, basically. Okay, yeah. Or do like I like read their mind or something? Their aura or whatever it is. Oh my god. Which one shall they pick? Hmm. 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 Well, I guess it's time for Shokai presentation. You know what? Let's start with this guy. No, no, no. Let's start with. Um, no. <laughs> oh my god, I have no idea. Which one should I start with, guys? Which one should they pick? Yamada? Kuwata? Maizono, Fukawa, or Ishimaru-san? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> you know what? Let's go for no chat. Chat. You decide. You you des you guys decide. <laughs> you guys decide. Maybe it doesn't matter. I don't know. I well. Okay. If you don't know plush, I just go for. Her. It don't matter. Okay, Yamada. I am Fumi Yamada, but if you want to call me by my nickname, the Alpha and the Omega. The I Alpha and the Omega. Yeah, the voices are like too low. By the way, how much do you know about the world of 2D art? Well, actually, kind of a lot. I mean, I'm an illustrator, so it's kind of my job. World of 2D? <laughs> well, in that world, I'm well known and supremely well regarded as the ultimate fanfic creator. Yeah, this, this is how fanfiction creators look like. They're like super fat. They're like extremely fat. They don't look anything alike to characters they create. Except me. <laughs> I try to be as much as similar, like, in my way of dressing and being, as the characters I create. Change the volume? No, I can change the volume in-game. I tried opening the options, but looks like you have to change like in the title screen, unfortunately. I once sold 10,000 copies of one of my fan comics at a school festival. The event has passed into legend. Some of them didn't get it, of course, saying I'd trained the event. How stupid can you be? That's too bad about them, but selling 10,000 copies like that is definitely pretty remarkable. However, 
The world of, of such idiots means nothing to me. I mean, I am like Van Gogh, utterly unappreciated in my time. So he's kind of a narcissist. I'm a soldier, serving night and day to destroy all mindless preconception about fanfiction. I'm sure if you were to observe my work, Mr. Naegi, you will comprehend its greatness immediately. Man, I want to see it, I want to see it! For my work is filled with the deepest meaning. So fanfiction can be quite meaningful. What kind of meaning? Oh, okay. It's about embracing our basis urges? Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> He's that kind of fanfiction creator. Okay, okay, okay. I feel you, I feel you. I, I can feel you. Like, oh, I always wanted to draw, to draw that stuff. I just never had the courage to. But you, Yamada-san, you had the courage. I don't think I want to comprehend it. Yeah, I don't... I want to comprehend it! I want! Shut up, Na Shut up, Makoto! I want to know everything about it now. Oh, well. Actually, it is an art form. It is a weird kind of art form, but... I think it's an amazing one. I think it's an amazing one. Let's go to... Who is Leon? From Resident Evil 4. Leon What's up? The, the the English voice actually being like Kuwata instead of Kuwata. <laughs> Yo, the name's Leon Kuwata. What's up, Leon? Leon Kuwata. I recognize the name. He played for the national high school champs at their cleanup hitter, the ultimate baseball star. Oh, that's him. Oh, okay. He just got some longer hair, okay. And a superb athletic specimen is... You? Seriously? Huh? What's wrong? N nothing, I'm just surprised. I figured with you being the ultimate baseball star and all... Actually, Makoto is kinda... Not afraid of telling stuff. What? Were you expecting some kid with a shaved head? Shaved head? No, I was just expecting more of a, you know, sporty looking traditional baseball player type. I mean, when I found that article and picture of you online, that's how you looked then. What? Oh man, you found that picture of me playing baseball? Seriously? I hate that picture. This is not cool, this is so not cool, seriously, I'm like mega embarrassed right now. I didn't have a choice, okay? Shaving your head like that is a part of national championship regulations but no i refuse to cut my hair i'm not gonna dye it back to normal either actually can i be totally honest with you i don't like baseball like at all i never go into a single practice huh he never he's never practiced and he was still in his team star player he's some kind of prodigy and as soon as I got accepted there, I quit baseball for good. I have my own dream for the future. A dream for the future? <laughs> my only path in life is getting into music. You can feel that star quality aura I have, right? You know what I mean. I'm gonna be a singer. Oh, okay. So all I need is a songwriter and someone on guitar and we're set. This new version of me that's chasing after my dream is like super cool to the max. Well, so... So he is not like the peak in his field if he is abandoning his field and starting a new one. Right? Hmm. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I never imagined I'd hear something like that from a baseball all-star. Then who, who do we have? My Zono. My Hi, I'm Sayaka Maizona. I look forward to getting to know you. Okay. I'm looking forward to getting to know you, okay. That's basically a Yoroshiko Negaishimas translated, okay. The ultimate pop sensation. She doesn't look pop at all. She looks very sweet. 
I wouldn't associate her look to pop immediately. But she's kind of an idol. Yep. She's like, she has like the perfect figure for that kind of job. The way she moves is positively mesmerizing and a pleasant scent I can't quit quite place. Sayaka Maizono. When I saw her name in the thread online, frankly I was pretty surprised. Oh, there she is. Now she's very pop. Now she's super pop, yup. She's an, in a pop group famous all across the country. In fact, she's their lead singer. Hmm. The ultimate thumbnail girl, yeah exactly. <laughs> That's the ultimate pop sensation. She's, she's high demand to appear on TV and magazines everywhere. But actually, that's not the only reason I was so surprised to find out she's she'd be she'd be going on the school. I'm sure she doesn't remember, but well, never mind. No matter how you slice it, she's really beautiful, almost like a doll or something. She is indeed. She is the ultimate idol. She's ha she has to be cute. <clears throat> I got. I, I gotta drink some water. I. Uh, 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 I'm draw. Uh, <coughs> like, all that. What? Why are the dialogues going on? What? What is happening? Did I press something? What? 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 Hey, um... I pressed on auto. No. What? What did I do? I just. I just coughed there a second and. Uh, the text kept scrolling by itself. Ah, how can I stop it? Uh, out of all with air. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, I pressed air. Oh my no. Oh my god, no. Oh my god. I accidentally pressed the air button and then it went to R mode. Oh no. Oh damn. What did, what did I miss? What have I lost? I guess it look like my live, my live streams. <laughs> I can look like my own stream to see what I lost. So let me check. Huh, did you hear me? I'm psychic. Huh? Kidding, I just have really good intuition. She's a sharp one. Huh? Hey, by any chance. No, what? Okay, okay, okay. So she actually just was joking with me, stating that. She's a she can like read minds. I wouldn't be surprised if any of them have like some sort of supernatural supernatural powers, and that's the reason why they get gathered inside that school, and not because they are like the best in what they do. The fact that they are like the best in what they do is just a coincidence coincidence or consequence of the fact that they have supernatural 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 powers. Like the guy that is like super good at baseball without ever training like he could have like a power like some sort of strength or whatever i don't know i don't know maybe they are here to find out their true power maybe it's like the usual story where the government needs like some kids with powers for the new war weapon or stuff like this i have no idea i have no idea they need a warrior for world war 3 where japan conquers the world I don't know. I, I'm just, I'm just theorizing. Maybe, maybe two out there right now. Okay. Okay. I can check out the log. Okay, check out the log. Is this a log? No. Uh, select, confirm, advanced tag, cancel, skip text, open hand box, menu, reaction mode. No. Oh no. I have no idea how I open the log. Yeah, it must be... It must be. Oh, well, I'm sure of it. Hey, Makoto did... Just hold on. Jeez, you guys, how long do you plan to waste our valuable time with this ridiculous back and forth? Um, Sorry, I just got carried away, I guess. Self-introductions are for introducing yourself, not bumbling through a bunch of idle chit-chat. You're right. Sorry, Makoto. No, don't feel sorry, Maizuno. We can talk about this later. And she disappeared. It sounded like Sayaka really had something she wanted to say. 
She really had something she wanted to say. But it's not like we'll never see each other again. Like she said, we can talk later. Huh, okay, now it's the time where I have to drink some water because my throat is like getting super, super like dry from all this reading and talking. And ah, oh my god, Danka Romba will like make me read a lot. It is, it is one of those game where you, games where you read and you read and you read a lot. And I have to read everything out loud um, and I have to drink. So let me get some water real quick and I'll be right back in like a few seconds. So yeah. Stay there, be right back. is so good oh my god I just needed some water ah oh, now I feel better ah. hey Chinami welcome to the live stream you're gonna need a lot of water sorry my bad I thought I forgot how to spell the game had a chat log that's standard in visual novel yeah actually it is like even like um, did like Mario RPG have a, a, a log or is it just me Pikmin had a log yeah Pikmin had a log even Pikmin has a log Oh, stay hydrated. Yeah, I will stay hydrated. I'm pretty sure it does. I think uh, it's F2. I'm not sure. Oh, I'm playing on a, on a Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. There's no F2. <laughs> I haven't played in forever. Yeah, I'm not, pl I'm not playing it on, on PC. I'm playing on my Nintendo Switch. Haha. <laughs> with, the, with the Super Mario voice. You have to talk about Nintendo stuff with the Mario voice. I'm sorry. That was a little cringe. Um, okay, so yeah. Ah, a little break for me and a little break for you guys. Are you eating? Are you drinking something? Are you like getting some nice cookies while you watch the live stream? Oh, by the way, Chinami, I've never seen you on my live streams. You're a newcomer, so welcome. Thank you so much for joining. Arigatou gozaimasu. Me neither. Okay, okay, okay. All right, time to put on my headphones again and let's see. Let's see what this game has in store. Do you guys hear my voice loud and clear? Or are there any like distortions? Let me know if the game volume is alright and everything. And if not, we can just keep playing because it's getting interesting. It's getting super interesting. I really want to know these characters. They are so wacky, like their design. Like, like look at them. He's fantastic, like the only thing I am not a big fan of in like many anime or like uh, even like in TV shows is where, where like everyone has like an outfit that is like completely way out there. Like this like um, necktie, like this uh, this this tie basically is like original to him. Like no one else in the whole world or country has something like this. Those are not like clothes you buy. It's like everyone is like too a little a little too different, a little too unique in its own way. But that's fine. That's fine, because this game is like aesthetically speaking. Can you? Oh, you can analyze that one. Oh, surveillance camera. This is not what a normal camera looked like. Has what looks like a gun attached to it. But there's no way that's a real gun, right? Yeah, this surveillance camera is protect is protecting whatever is behind this giant gate. Actually, I haven't I haven't I haven't played I haven't been paying attention to it at all. Yeah, same thing over there. Oh, but what is what is that? What, what is that? Trophies. Is that thing? What is that thing? A mailbox, there's nothing inside. 
a melee box. This is so freaking mysterious. Change the volume. What volume? Uh, I, I cannot go to the options, or can I? No, I, I just can't enter the options from the game. I have to go uh, to the... Basically all the way back to the uh, little tile screen to do that. And I, and I, and I can't save whenever, whenever I want. That's a problem. Okay, let's see who Fukawa is. But first, chat. I like the cat Shinami. Just so, it looks cute. Thanks, she's living on her cat tree right now. Oh, actually, yeah, it's a cute little cat. It's a black cat. Oh, nice catty. <laughs> okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. I know that you remember my name anyway, but... I'm Toko. Toko Fukawa. Toko Fukawa. Okay, man, the, the voices are like so low. You, can, you, can hear like, you can't hear like a damn thing. And those are like the default options? Like, why? Yeah, the voice volume is too low and I can't change it. Unless there is like a way to open the options without going back to the title screen. The ultimate writing prodigy, Toto Fuko. Yeah, she wrote a novel when she was 10 that got everyone talking and launched her literary career. Then, two years ago, she released Soul Lingers the Ocean, a love story said to be her masterpiece. I want to read it. The book was such a hit with a woman that. Fisherman quickly shot up, shot to the top of every hottest man pole. Despite her age, she won countless literary prizes, and all her books are instant bestsellers. Wow, what a legendary writer! Which is why she's she's come to be known as the ultimate writing prodigy. What else would, what else would you call such a young and talented author? A genius? But I figured she'd be a lovely dovey type, what with her masterpiece being a romance and all. What? It's not polite to stare, you know? <laughs> her face is so funny right now. Like, look at this. She's like... Mm -hmm. Stop staring at me. <laughs> like I'm some filthy creature. Okay. She's very, very shy. Who knows why? Who knows why? Filthy creature? No, I just thought... I know what you just thought. Okay, so maybe she's used to sexual harassment or something. I don't know. You just thought you'd never seen such an ugly woman. Oh no! She has like a destroyed self-esteem. Oh no. You just thought it was so funny. Man, if she's ugly, like, then I don't know what ugly is. Like, she's fine. Maybe her hands are a little, little and creepy, but she's fine. No, that's not what I was thinking at all. Don't bother trying to lie to me. You know it's true, otherwise you... I know you can't stand looking at me. Whatever, I don't really care. I'm used to it. Ah, she's used to it. She's used to it. Oh my god. She's used to people telling her she looks ugly or whatever? She's kind of a weird kind of introvert. Like... Hmm. <laughs> Whoa, talk about inferiority complex. I was way off about what a successful author would be like. Yeah, exactly. Like the complete opposite of what... You would normally accept from ex, 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 expect from a famous person, huh? Oh, by the way, Christian, welcome to the live, live stream. Hello, nice to have you here. Oh well. I'm Kiyotaka Ishimura. I believe in bold simplicity. Let's work together on our educational crusade. In bold simplicity. Yeah, he wants like the essentials. He didn't want us to chat. Let's work together on our educational crusade. 
ultimate moral compass. What the hell is a moral compass? I mean, I know what a moral compass is, but how do you like transform that thing into a job? He's dressed up like a leader. He has like a he basically very military, military looking. So that's Kiyotaka. According to what I saw about him on that thread, he went to a famous private school and won top honors every year. He's basically a flawless honor student. He's also known for the work he's done with community's public moral committee. They say he respected rules above all else, earning him the title of the ultimate moral compass. Okay, so he's like all about respecting rules and making others respect rules. Oh my god, what a creep, what a creep. Oh well, anyway, you can call me Taka. You said your name was Makoto Naegi, right? That's a good name, a strong name. You should thank your parents for giving you such an excellent name. And to keep that name from losing its value, you must devote yourself every single day. Life is worth putting every ounce of effort into it, right? Right. This guy is kind of annoying. <laughs> yeah, he is, he is. The ultimate nerd. Who is the ultimate nerd? Maybe I am the ultimate nerd. I am the ultimate Julie. There's no one that is more Julie than me. You, you can't be more Julie than I am. I am the Julius Julie of them all. Like being Julie is very hard. No, actually, it's just a matter of being myself. Okay. No to talk to those five people over there. Oh, we have more to go. We have more to go. Okay, who looks more interesting? Aoi Asahina Chihiro Fujiyasaki, okay Kyoko Kirigiri Junko Enoshima Mondo Owada You know what? Let's let's start with him. Let's start with him. Name's Mondo Owada. Nice to Owada. My name's Ano Mondo Owada. My name's Mundo Wata, nice to fucking meet ya! <laughs> okay! <laughs> and there I got demonetized. Mondo Owara. It's so funny when Japanese, when Japan keeps using like uh, Italian names. Out of random. Mondo Owada, huh? Which means. He's the current leader of the largest biker gang in Japan. He's an earned respect, even awe, from every gang in the country. He's the ultimate biker gang leader. Yeah, we, we knew that, but... How did he... Like, why have, why do we... Why, why should we ever choose an ultimate bike leader? Nice to meet you, okay. Hell yeah. I better be careful around him. One wrong word and I could wake up at the bottom of the sea. Nah, I think he, I think he's a good guy. He's gotta be a good guy. Like, look at him. He's so handsome. Okay, maybe not that handsome. He's kind of intimidating, yeah. Junko Enoshima. You know what? Let's start with her. She looks like the most European one. She's like the only one that has no pale skin and she looks she looks a very Pokemon trainerish, I will say. Hey ya. I'm Aoi. Asahina, but my friends just call me Hina. Hina, okay. I call you Sina. Hey I'm Aoi Asahina, but my friends just call me Hina, sa. Okay, yep. Aoi Asahina. The ultimate swimming pro. Okay, she swims. Okay, that's cute. Aoi. Ah, that's why she. Why she why, that's why she's called Aoi. <laughs> that's why she's called Aoi. Aoi means blue, in case you didn't know. Aoi Asahina. She's been breaking records in every competition she's been in, in since elementary school. The ultimate swimmer. Whoa! <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, because in Japan, in schools, you have to swim. Of course, of course, Japanese kids aspire to be the ultimate swimmer. Oh, that's why. Okay. It was a little random, but now it makes sense. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
uh, like even in Germany, if I'm not mistaken, you have to swim in school. And I'm like, oh no, I don't want to swim. Why? No, like, I'm so lucky to be in Italy. Like, I will never go swimming. Like, for the school, it will be horrible. I should, like, undress myself in front of all my friends just to swim. I will be so embarrassed. Like, ah! I will never do that. I'm so lucky to not swim in school and only swim whenever I feel like doing it. God damn it. Even though it would make more sense to swim guys like children and teenagers how to swim here where I live on an island instead of in Germany where there's basically no water except some lakes or sometimes like <laughs> okay I don't know I don't know uh, blah, blah, blah. back back to the game back to the game Aoyas Asahina she's been breaking records yeah okay She's even be chosen as an upcoming Olympic cadet. She is, without a doubt, the ultimate swimming pro. Yeah, you do in Germany. Oh my god, that's so far. Oh, I'm so lucky to be in Italy. I'm so freaking lucky. Oh, by the way, Matsu Darkstar, welcome to the live stream. Nice to have you here. It's the first time you join, I believe. Thank you so much. Yep, we had swimming in school two times, and the teacher never went into the water. You're German as well, Matsu? Das ist ja wunderbar. And the teacher never went into water? That's torture. That's torturing poor kids just so to get them wet. Why? 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 I used to go to a school that had swimming. Oh my god, that's horrible. I am so lucky. I'm so freaking lucky. Oh, I'm so, I'm like the luckiest guy in the world. Like if like in Italy something like this could like never exist. I can already picture all the Italian mothers going crazy against the school if they make swimming obligatory. Like Italian mothers, they were like go in the school like Shooting everyone with a with a with a gun. Bah, 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 bah. There, there would be like a there would be like a war if something like this would like even propose for Italy. Like Italian mothers don't want their kids to get wet. Oh no, they might get ill. Didn't they? I don't want to make them wet. No. And what if they feel ashamed? No. That's basically a typical Italian mother. Um, yeah, something like this could like never exist here in Italy. You gotta be more badass, more badass of a country to allow swimming in schools, I believe. Italy is very, it's a very, very pussy, uh, <laughs> it's a very pussy country. Oh my god. Okay, let's go on. Let, let's just go on. The combination, the combination of her ability, appearance and um, proportions have been widely discussed online. <laughs> Proportion, okay. So, uh, what was your name again? Sorry, I totally forgot. Makoto Naegi. Oh yeah, I knew it was something like that. No, not something like that. It is that. Sure, sure, got it, here. I'll hammer it into my brain right now. She's very, like, she feels, like, very natural. She's not, like, a psychopath or, like, someone with, some, someone very narcissistic. Or something, someone with self-esteem issues. She seems like a very natural girl that like just happens to be very good at swimming and that's it. I'm, at least that's what I'm getting for now. I can't play Subnautica, I'm horrified by the ocean. I want to play that game actually. I really want to play that game. I'm not a big swimmer but Actually, being horrified by the ocean, ocean is kind of sad, because if you think about it, this world we live on, it is not a world of people. It is not a world of animals. It is not a world of being outside of the water. Like 70% of our world is underwater. This is a world of fishes. This is not a world of Danganronpa. This is not a world of live streams. This is not a world of people doing stuff. This is a world of fish. Our world is underwater for the most part. And whenever I remember that, I always get, get a little blown away. 
This is the blue planet. And it will become bluer and bluer because the oceans are expanding. Okay, let's go back to the game. Let's go back to the game. Makoto Nagi, Makoto Nagi, Makoto Nagi. She's trying to remember. She just kept repeating my name and moving her fingers across her palm like she was writing something. What are you doing? You don't know. If you want to remember someone's name, you gotta write it on your hand three times. I've never heard of that before in my life. That makes sense in Japanese. Writing kanji on your hands actually uh, is also a way my teacher like told me to memorize some kanji. Try writing them over and over and over on your hand. Like my Japanese teacher like explained me that. Hey, by the way, how do you spell your last name? You spell it exactly as it sounds. Oh, I don't think she was asking for the spelling here. I think this is like lost in translation. I think she was like asking what kind of kanji you use for your last name. Because it could mean different things depending on the kanji you use to write it. And if she wanted to train writing on, on her hand, she needed to know exactly what kind of kanjis they were. Hmm. Well, I have no idea, huh? I just figure it out later and write it down. Anyway, glad to meet you. Sure, same here. Well, one thing I learned is she's totally easygoing and bursting with energy. Oh, she was so sweet. She was like super sweet and super natural. Very, very kind of, it's a very comfort character. Like everyone else was interesting. But creepy in its own way. Like every creative person is a weird person. Like you cannot be creative or talented in anything without being weird as well in some other way. But she, she just swims. That's make that makes her like very normal. Yeah. Okay, let's go on with Chihiro Fujisaki. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. Oh, Chihiro. Oh, she's so cute. The ultimate programmer. Sorry, I get kind of embarrassed whenever I introduce myself like this. Oh, a programmer. Oh, well. Basically, just like my girlfriend. Yep. This is like the ultimate girlfriend. You gotta have a girlfriend that programs stuff. Yep. And that is cute. Yep. Yep. She is like the ultimate girlfriend. Yep. Sorry, I get kind of embarrassed whenever I introduce myself like this. <laughs> anyway, I hope we can get along. Same here. Nice to meet you. Huh? huh? Maybe it's just my imagination, but have we met before? Okay, that's interesting. Mm, I don't think so. We just met for the first time. Which is why you said... Hajimemashite. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Good point, sorry. You don't have to apologize for that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Chishiro Fujisaki is known for all the cutting edge programs she's created. She's the ultimate programmer. She also got a timid little bunny type thing going on. <laughs> timid little bunny thing, okay. Which has en endeared her to her legion of fans. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! The f okay, 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 okay. Um, I don't know why, but I don't find innocence attractive. Like in Japan, there is like a whole church culture, a whole kink around someone that has no experience in love or sex. Someone that is like completely unexperienced and embarrassed and Being in the relationship for the first time like the idea of a virgin in Japan is like completely romanticized and sexualized in a way that it is not in our culture And so you can be like super innocent and have some fans Wow um. Hey, so listen I'm really sorry. Huh? What are you apologizing for now? Well, just cause you seem upset. You must be mad at me, right? Oh no, it's one of those! It's one of those girls! No! No! She's too fragile! 
No, not at all. I was just lost in thought about something. Huh? Lost in thought? He, she, she, she's literally, she, she's so desperate right now. Yeah, I had nothing to do with me being upset or anything. Oh, that's good. I was afraid maybe you didn't like me. I regret uh, everything I said about the perfect kind of girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. I'm starting to understand why her fans are so into it. <gasps> what do you mean you're starting to understand why her fans are so into her? You just realized that she's super fragile. That she feels like she's being criticized even though you're not. And she cares about that and she cries for that and that makes you realize that now you know why they are into her so people are into this stuff people want this stuff oh well it's uh it's japan kyoko kirigiri Kyoko Kirigiri. Kirigiri sounds uh, very, 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 very funny. Kyoko Kirigiri. Let's see what Kyoko Kirigiri has to say. Nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. <laughs> hmm. What does Makoto mean by that? Yeah, what does she mean? Oh, Wingman, you're going away? Okay, bye-bye, Wingman, bye-bye, Wingman. Okay, back to the game, back to the game, back to the game. What? What? Uh, can I ask you your name? My name is... Kyoko Kirigiri. The ultimate? No one knows what. Kyoko Kirigiri. She's pretty tight lipped, huh? Oh, but you know, her name didn't show up anywhere in that Hope Speak Academy thread. And I did see that there were students like me. Ones who didn't have any real identity or presence. Could this be... Could this be girl? Be one of them? Hmm. Okay. So yeah, there, there might be other students. Hmm. So what are you doing at the school? What? What's that supposed to mean? No, I just meant getting invited in here means you're some kind of ultimate something, right? So what ultimate something are you? That doesn't matter. Why should they tell you? Huh? Well, I guess you don't have to tell me. No, I don't have to tell you, so I'm not going to. Nothing about her turned her up online, so I was thinking maybe she got picked by chance like me, but... She's the ultimate mystery girl! Her, her face is like an iron mask. If she doesn't want to tell me anything, no point I'm asking. Okay, so, so she's the mysterious one we don't know anything about yet. Okay, okay. Junko Enoshima. Let's see what she has to say. Hi, I'm Junko Enoshima. Charmed, I'm sure. Enoshima. Okay, anybody will recognize this one. Oh yeah, oh yeah, okay, it's, it's, uh, she's got more charm and presence than any high school girl in the country. She's the ultimate fashionista. What an Italian world word just thrown in there. I've seen her on tons of magazines covers, but I feel like it doesn't quite match up to reality. Is she even better in reality? What? Huh? Oh, are you talking about my cover photos and junk? <laughs> ah, well, of course, those are totally photoshopped. Photoshopped? 
Yeah, you know, added it to hell and back with like computers and junk. Also, oh, they aren't real. Yep, that's uh, that's how photography works nowadays. Come on, don't act so surprised. You're gonna make me all depressed. Totally. It's totally normal these days to Photoshop the crap out of cover photos. If you're surprised by that, you'd be totally blown away by a certain dangerous little diva of ours. <laughs> they make their A's and junk super big and tweak the skin so it looks all ceramic and porcelain. Yup, that's the kind of look Japanese idols go for. Oh. So many dreams are getting crushed today. <laughs> Those four over there are the only ones left. Okay, actually, I believe she was maybe even more mysterious than the other ones. Because... Is she like all about being a fashion icon? Was that it? I, I like, I don't even know what her, her personality is at this point. But she, she looked pretty normal. She was like pretty normal. Okay. Oh well. Who do we have here? <laughs> Byakuya Togami Yasuhiro Hagakure He's called just my, like my Japanese professor Yasuhiro Celeste Or oh, like that mountain in... Uh, that mountain in Canada Sakura Ogami She's a girl? Sakura Ogami? No way, this is like a Street Fighter Alpha reference. Oh my god, what a Street Fighter reference. Like, muscles, skirt, being called Sakura, fighting perhaps? Gotta be a Street Fighter reference. You know what, let's start with Sakura. Sakura Ogami. I am Sakura Ogami. I am Sakura Ogami. Oh my god. Like, if you, like, wake up in the middle of the night and you open your eyes and you see this, you're going to immediately run to the toilet because you're shitting yourself in fear. She even has, like, wounds over her face. Kind of looks like Zangief. Zangief. Or Saga. No, Zangief? What was it? Well, yeah, it was Zangief in Street Fighter. I'm Sakura Ogami. Sakura, by the way, is uh, Cherry Blossom. Oh, jeez. I almost asked her if she was a guy. <laughs> yeah, she looks like a guy. The day I say something like that out of loud, the day I get turned into a human meatball. Yeah, exactly. But no, I remember. She's com com she competed in a martial art tournament. In America and won, despite being a girl. She's the ultimate martial artist. She's f she's fought in over 400 matches and never lost a single one. So yeah, she fights. Man, this gotta be a Street Fighter reference. This lady is in school. Yeah, she looks like 40 or something. <laughs> Lol, like Gerald. That thread also said a bit more about her. Some call her Ogre or Ogre. Ogre. Some even think she's the closest known relative to the primates of the famed missing link. What? Any incoming Hope Speak student who are reading this, let me warn you right now. If you value your life, I vo avoid here at all costs. Standing in front of her now, I don't think they were exaggerating about that. Hey, hey you! Huh, yes? I snapped to attention without even realizing it. Then she started to poke and prod at my body. Uh oh! Uh, what are you? Muscular quality and quantities right around that of an extremely ordinary high school. <laughs> oh! She just checked my body! She just checked my body! <laughs> she checked my muscle! <laughs> huh. 
What a shame. You're not all that. You're not at all fit to act as my training partner. Okay, she's kind of goofy. She's kind of goofy. I'm not sure that's such a shame for me. She's kind of goofy. Now, uh, who do we have here? There's so many freaking characters. Oh my god. Byakuya Togami. Byakuya Togami. Name's Byakuya Togami. And you're, and I'm not looking at you at all. I'm like ignoring you. I don't even know who you are. I'm looking just away. I don't care about anyone. I am just talking without looking at you. The other affluent progeny. What the hell? Oh, he, he he's gotta be rich. Hi. Uh, nice to meet you. That's the most half-ass introduction I've ever heard. But there isn't really anything I can do about it. Even among the ultimate students, this one is special. Bakuya Togami, he's the heir apparent of his family massive financial conglomerate. He's already started managing business operations and his own personal assets are, well, vast. His title of ultimate affluent progeny is completely accurate. He is the definition of an exceptional. Ooh, okay. That's everything I learned about him from what the Hope's Peak Academy thread online. I see, I see. Well, you're just gonna be ultimate at something. You're just gonna be ultimate at something. Come on. Oh, he's still not looking at me. She's looking like, kind of like at my right ear right now. We are done with introductions, right? How much longer are we are going to stand here? Go away, I'm sick looking at you. Ah, you're not, you're not even looking at me. His aura says to me, you and I will never stand on the same level. Like a king in, in training. Okay. Just a classic super rich guy that feels like superior than everyone else. Ultimate rich smart boy, yeah. It's a classic stereotype. When you're like a genius, super rich, and you don't care about anyone of those normies. Yeah. I mean, uh, I feel him. I, uh, I I know how that sense of superiority sometimes can pervade you, even though you're, you're actually just just a guy. You're just a guy. Yasuhiro Hagakure. I'm Yasuhiro Hagakure. I'm Yasuhiro Hag Hagakure. Yeah, I know I will. Hiro for sure. Take it easy, yeah. I know I will. Okay. Ultimate Clyde Voyage? What? What's that? Sorry, my English has some limits. Yasuhiro Hagakure, known as Supernova, is the psychic is in the psychic community the transcending ultimate Clyde Voyage. Honestly, I don't really get all that fortune telling stuff. Oh, chiaro vigente. Oh, okay, clever. Yeah, okay, yeah. Those who can like read clearly uh, what's what's about to come. Yeah, exactly. It's from Latin, yeah. It's pretty much beyond me. Still, I can't help wondering if there's any truth to it. Oh, okay, I give up. Huh? What happened? I saw it. I looked right at it. Seriously, I totally saw it. So what? A guardian angel with a crazy perm. Chasing after Bigfoot running off with a skyfish in its mouth? And the and that guardian angel is your guardian angel, what? <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. But we had a... We should grab some Breskies sometimes and get real deep into Lemuria and its civilization. <laughs> it's one of those guys. This is basically like my teacher, my anthropology teacher I had in the university I left. I was like in an art university for one year that I absolutely left and it was like this an anthropology teacher and he was like this kind of guy, this kind of guy. The kind of guys that believe mankind has never been to the moon, you know, that kind of guys. <laughs> what? We are not allowed to drink. We are in high school. You know? Oh, I'm actually 21. I've been held back a few times, see? Well, it's a long story. A few times? 
Yeah, but that is a long story. Okay, okay, yeah, she, he's nice, but weird, but wrong, yeah, it's fine, it's fine, I, I think it's fine. I remember that, yeah, 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 you know, the, you know, El Elintia knows the full story. Elintia knows the full story of that. You talked about it at, yeah, at the Edna comics, yeah, exactly, yeah, I, 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 Elintia knows my lore. Who those of you who, of you who don't know, Elintia is my, uh, one of my real life uh, friends, basically. Celeste, I what 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 what? I do not think we have been introduced. I am Celestia, Celestia Lundenberg, Lundenberg, Celestia Lundenberg. Was? Sie kommt aus Deutschland? Sie ist wohl gar nicht Japanisch? Ah hallo, Celestia Lundenberg. Na wie geht's? Wie war's? Schöner Tag heute, ja? Wo wohnst du? In Bamberg oder wo? In München, Celestia Lundenberg. Celestia Ludenberg. Celestia Luden, huh? Ludenberg, it is my name. But if you don't mind, I would prefer for you to call me Celeste. Uh, are you are Japanese, right? I mean, she looks pretty Japanese. You would recognize a Japanese person if it's not in an anime. You would recognize someone if it is, if he is Japanese. Unless you are like Asuka from... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> nah, let's forget it. Huh? Of course, why do I ask? If you don't mind, could you tell me your real name? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Celeste Lutenberg is my real name. Okay, so it's not her real name, okay. But I'm, maybe like Celeste Lutenberg is something that she killed. Who knows? But as I mentioned, I would much rather you call me Celeste. She's polite, but pretty forceful at the same time. I don't think she wants to say any more about it. I guess the rumors in that thread were right about her. The self-styled Celestia Ludenberg. She's the ultimate gambler who's never lost a bet. Other than her obvious love of gothic lolita clothes, everything about her is wrapped in a veil of lies. Oh my god, if you are someone who lies, usually it is because your truth is dangerous to yourself or to someone else. And you have to hide in order to keep doing what you are doing or just not getting found, I don't know. Liars are dangerous. They say she entered and won an underground gambling tournament, earning the title of Queen of Liars. Ah, okay, that's interesting. So he might even like be good at acting, not just lying. She totally cleaned out the other players, taking their life savings and laughing as she did it. <laughs> Look forward to getting to know you better. So actually I believe her name might be Celeste. But she might be tricking me into believing that it is not. Who knows? She might be outsmarting me. <laughs> okay, that smile is beyond deceptive. I'd better watch myself around her. And with that, all the introductions are done. Hmm, even though they're all ultimate, they each have their own individual sort of uh, something. Okay, time to get down to business. This is no time to stand around making friends like a bunch of dual-eyed baboons. Oh, that's true. I think someone said something about a bigger problem or something. What was that about? Um, well, you see... Uh, um, Makoto, you said a bunch of stuff happened and then you were just asleep, right? Well, the same is true for all of us. What? Seriously? Just after each of us go to the main hall, we lost consciousness. Yeah, so the same exact thing happened to everyone. But the thing is, as I arrived like one hour in advance, there was like no one else walking in. So everyone might have lost consciousness in a different place than where I arrived. Or maybe I was just the first arriving and then I got like 
put to sleep, but why am I like the last one waking up? Something fishy is going on here. Hmm. And when we came to, we were somewhere here in the school. That's what happened to you, right? Oh, sorry. Let me let me read the chat a second. Sie wohnt wahrscheinlich die Straße, wo deine Oma runter, ne, Julie? <laughs> yeah, genau, yeah, genau. Uh, sorry for a little German moment. We were still joking about, you know, the Lundenberg uh, nickname. I mean, second name. Okay. But but that's just weird that every one of us will get knocked out like that. Piece of shit. Exactly. That's why we're all freaking out. And that's not the only thing. You saw where all the windows and the classes and hallways were, right? Oh my god, the game is really trying to show me that they are locked. The game is making me think, I mean, you know what? I think I stop and theorize much more than the game wants me to do, actually. It's kind of easy to understand so far. But instead of normal glasses window, it was a bunch of big metal plates. What about that? Okay, I don't know. Plus, all my stuff's missing. Even my cell phone. Oh my god, my cell phone. Yeah, you're right. I haven't seen my PDA anywhere either. And then there's the main hall here. The front exit is completely blocked by some giant metal hatch. But there wasn't anything like that when I first got here. What the heck? What is go what is what is it doing here? Right. Maybe we got caught up in some kind like, you know, crime or something. Yeah, this is like very criminal. Is it like what like uh, kidnapping? There it is. You got it. Kuwata, you said the word. It's a kidnapping. You think maybe someone grabbed us and hauled us off and we're not actually at school? Hey, come, on. come on, don't think like that. Cheer up. I bet this is all just part of the school orientation procedure. I think it is. It's just very weird. You know? Yeah, I'm sure that's it. I'm just gonna take it easy for a little bit. He's so positive. Oh, so you think they want us to do something to surprise us? What the hell? Huh? Well, if that's all it is, it's nap time for me. I was uh, uh, I was up way too late last night, so I could use a little shut shut up. I just shut up, okay. I could feel everyone's tensions evaporating. Yeah, but then it began. What? Ding dong, bing bong. Oh, it's the, it's the clock. Oh my god, what is going on? What is going on now? A test of the school broadcast system. Is like that the same television we saw we saw in the classroom? It is a test. So why would you ever test it? If you test it, it means it is the first time you're using it, perhaps. But at the beginning, you said us the school existed for hundreds of years, so it's all just a lie. There's something fishy. Yes, yes, I uh, can hear you. The voice seemed totally out of place. It was so playful, so completely unconcerned. I couldn't help but feel a deep, unnerving dread at the sound of it. Oh my god, this is kind of like Saw, basically. It was like hearing someone laugh at the scene of an accident. accident. Entrance ceremony, okay. Make your way to the gymnasium at your earliest convenience. At the gymnasium? Okay, let's go there, let's go there. I'll be waiting. It's not like he is waiting. He is waiting! 
This is not good. This is not. This is evil. This is this is the classic evil. Like uh, this is this is evil. It is evil. It is evil. There is evil going on. But I want to understand why there is evil. Does there just happen to be evil? Is this evil for a purpose? Is it, is it just evil for evil's sake? Is it evil because of envy? Is it evil because of why? So many questions. What? I mean, someone that will do something bad to talented people might only be someone that is envious because he is not talented at all. That's like the first thing that comes to my mind. What? the hell was that just now? Well then, if you excuse me, he, he, he went like Mario 64 vanishing sound. Hey. hey, what are you gonna take off just like that? Oh yeah, no, I get it. This whole thing was just to get us all pumped for the entrance ceremony. <laughs> Man, thanks god it was all a joke. I'd be totally freaking if this was real. All right, guess I'll head out too. Wonder what they got planned for us next. Damn, I was sort of looking forward to photo Nora too. I have to go and kill the mood. <laughs> wait, wait for me. I want to go with you. <laughs> what is that then? I will see you out there. Anyway. She didn't act afraid at all. She was clearly hiding her emotions again. No, not that anyone cares, but I'm gonna go too. Everyone took off for the gym, but I was frozen where I stood. That uneasy feeling I had before couldn't get out of my mind. And it looked like it wasn't the only one. Uh, um, this, this doesn't seem right. This is bad. Yeah, that announcement was totally weird. However, Maybe... But just staying put doesn't mean we'll be safe. I mean, do you have guns behind you? Besides, aren't you guys just a little bit curious to find out what's going on around here? If we don't move forward, we learn nothing. The only choice is to push ahead. I guess she's right. But still, I'm kind of, no, really nervous. We don't have a choice. We have to go. They say to go to the gym, right? Do you want to save the data? Yes. Let's make a third one. There we go. Okay. Mamma mia, guys, how long have I been streaming? Is this a good part to end the live stream? Because I don't know how long it will be till the next uh, checkpoint. I think this live stream was already two hours long. Yeah, I think this is like a good a good check like to stop. Because I think we just did the intro intro introduction. So we can like have like our introductory episode and then like do the other ones where I don't know stuff will be revealed. No quit and change the volume. Yeah, I gotta change the volume now. Yeah, good good idea, good idea, good idea. Uh, how do you even quit the game? Uh, move, view, challenge, examine, exit, room, return, open, handbook, menu, observe, change, view, left, you know what? Bleep! I can just reset it this way. Yeah, now let's uh, higher the volume of the voices, because it was a little too low. And yeah, if you wanna know what this game is about, keep playing. Yeah, it, it's that it's gonna. It, the, the, my fear is that I have no idea how far away the next checkpoint is going to be. Hmm, and I don't want to stream like till past midnight or something like super late because I have to wake up tomorrow at half past five basically. Oh no. So yeah, I, I don't want to be late at all. I believe this is the best part to. the best spot to end a live stream. And then we keep on playing, uh, well, I guess uh, the day after tomorrow. Oh, on the game, on oh, the game and the chat log, it's the minus button. Oh, the minus button didn't, didn't do anything. I tried it out, but it didn't do anything. I don't know why. 
Okay, okay, let's go to the options and let's um the voice volume. Hey, the voice volume is already top. So we gotta like lower the 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 BGM a little. There we go. Now we can hide the volume here a little. Okay, that'll do it. That'll basically do it. Okay. Okay, nice. Guys, you know what? I think I will end the live stream right here. Because, yeah, I gotta go. I gotta go sleep. It's, uh, it's, uh, basically e 23 minutes past 11 p.m. Uh, yeah. Man, no, I can't talk with you about the game for another two days? Maybe, maybe. You know what? I think I will actually stream tomorrow. Uh, and then I will, like, create my schedule because I haven't, like, uh, prepared anything for my Persona 5 live streams so far. So, I I think I can stream this game also tomorrow if I don't prepare anything for Persona 5 yet, yeah. So, don't worry. You'll see how it continues tomorrow. Well, only a tiny bit at least. <laughs> I The thing is, I don't know where the next checkpoint is. If it will take me like a, a whole hour to reach the other checkpoints because I want to analyze, I want to comment and stuff. Yeah. I think this is like the best moment to stop and make it like the introductory livestream where you just started the game, got introduced and then tomorrow shit goes down, I, th I think. Yeah. So yeah, actually we reached some good numbers in this livestream. We were like 13 viewers at some point or something like that and that was uh, that was great. Okay. Oh my god, so many so many of you, of you guys join. Banana Joe, Plush Pia, Elindia! Chinami with the nice, nice black hat as a profile picture. Thank, thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you here also tomorrow. Wingman, as always. Oh, Wingman is always here. There is no good live stream without a Wingman. Matsu Darkstar, are you still watching the live stream? If that's the case, well, thank you so much. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I, I guess 95. You were also here in the live stream. Haven't seen you. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Guys, it is time to go to bed <laughs> and sleep. I'm so tired. Ah, oh, why? How? How? Or maybe not. You know, I don't think I will. I will sleep. I will like lie in my bed. And like chill around and like chat and do stuff and then at some point it will like, just bloop, fall asleep. That's my plan. <laughs> okay. Okay. So yeah, this game is super interesting. I mean, I, I I don't have I haven't touched the gameplay part of the game so far. It was only it was basically a interactive comic book so far. There weren't like any puzzle elements or choices. So I, I think I'll still have to actually discover um, um, the gameplay of this game. But so far the story is super interesting and I'm smelling some interesting critique towards Japanese culture here. And I think this game has lots and lots of potential for getting interesting and for having a lot of like chatting potential like throwing interesting topics at us we can just chat about while we play because you don't you don't you don't just want to look at a guy playing a game i think you also want to interact with me like make questions think about stuff theorize observe stuff make like assumptions and not just in a practical way like oh oh how is the story going to be how is the story going to end like even like philosophically speaking like what's the meaning of this what's the meaning of that what would, you, what would you do in that situation? How should you view that? Yeah, there's like plenty to talk about, but that's fine. It's one of those games that gets you talking. 
<laughs> yeah. It was fun. Good night. Good night, Elisa. Good night. Good night. Good night. Night. Love you. Love you too, Damoclitz. I'm making like the heart emoji, but with my own fingers. Love you so much. Yeah, there's been nothing about the real gameplay mechanics and stuff. Yeah, exactly, 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 exactly. Because it was like a difficulty option at the beginning, so... Uh, that That's what got me suspicious, because there wasn't any gameplay so far, so it was like... Mm -hmm. Yeah, so and so I understood that there basically was going to be a gameplay further on in the game. Good night, good night, good night. Okay, okay, guys, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you again tomorrow with some more Duncan Rompa. And yeah, what an amazing oh my god, it, it, it went it went it went dark. Now it's bright again. What an amazing game. Bye bye, guys. Bye bye. See ya tomorrow.